Let's just get right into the passage. Off-Off Broadway theaters emerged in the late 1950s as a rebellion against mainstream Broadway theaters in New York, freeing artists to create productions that were more experimental than typical Broadway shows. One such artist was playwright Maria Irene Fornes. Working with Off-Off Broadway theaters enabled Fornes not only to direct her own plays, but also to direct them exactly as she intended them to be staged, regardless of how strange the results might have seemed to audiences accustomed to Broadway shows. In this way, Fornes... I don't really know what they're going for here. I, I get it. Like, off, off, right away is weird is kind of it. I, you know, let's see. Let's see what the choices say. Um, Fornes wrote plays that would have been too expensive to produce if someone else had strong production, uh, directed the production. They don't talk about money. So expensive, right? It's a descriptive word that I just don't have any matching words for in the passage. So get rid of it. Uh, re- recognize that staging an off, off Broadway play was more complicated than staging a Broadway play. Well, this is a comparison. They are comparing these two things in the passage, but is it about complexity? Uh, it seems to be about like style more than anything. So let's let's dumb summarize this a bit. If it's more complicated, is that good or bad? That seems bad. What is the passage saying about off off Broadway? It seems to be saying it's good, right? It lets people do what they want and and be weird and whatever. So that would be odd if the comparison ended up with. Fornes, you know, doing something bad, doing something negative, right? So dumb summary sometimes can really clarify uh, what's going on in a passage and whether a choice matches. Um, C, uh, would have been more famous, oh boy, if she had created plays that were mainstream instead of experimental. I mean, maybe, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think that's the point, right? Again, that sounds negative. That sounds like it's a bad thing that she did a bad thing going off off Broadway, but we want to say it's good. Uh, so D illustrates the artistic opportunity offered by off off Broadway theater. Yeah. Positive. Done. Right? So, in fact, all of these are negative, really. Uh, so, dumb summary really helps here. Just connotations sometimes really make a difference. I didn't really think about that as I was reading it. I wasn't like, oh, this is definitely positive. I'm looking for a positive answer. But as I started going through the choices, like, sometimes the words pop out, right? Strong words, descriptive words. Try to think about them. And if you can bring it back to something stupid, like, uh, you know, positive or negative connotation, that might be enough to just really keep you focused on the right things and, and clarify what the right answer is going to be. And sure enough, yeah, not so bad.